What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 4 of Switch It Up, the series where we show off some really cool custom keyboards to get you guys familiar with the enthusiast hobby out there of custom mechanical keyboards. So as I usually do, we'll run through them, talk about some of the specs of the keyboards, the sound tests and stuff like that, as well as some of the specs of all of them will be listed down below in case you want to check it out. Sorry that it's been slightly a delay between episodes, I've had a lot of people asking me where it is, but we're here, got the holidays coming up, so a little early treat for you. But let's start it off, episode 4 of Switch It Up. First up, we have an ortholinear keyboard. So this is definitely a different layout than you're probably used to, as you could tell right away. So this board here is the XDA 75 Re, with the case being an HE60 he got from Vietnam. And the plate inside the XE 75 is steel. Now in terms of the keycaps, I really dig that like sort of rainbow gradient he has going on. They're all SA blank keycaps he got from Signature Plastics. Plus for the artist in there, maybe for like the space key, it's looking like a koi fish possibly. But it looks really cool all together. Now for these switches, they're retooled blacks and they're lubed with 205 grade 2 mix with 105 from a TX keyboard he said. But the spring inside is swapped with a 125 gram spring from Sprit. Whew! We'll do a sound test now. Now you gotta keep in mind, not everybody has the most optimal conditions for a quiet sound test, so you heard probably a rooster in the background, but either way, you also heard how smooth and relatively silent those black retooled switches are. And like I said, just in the end, for a really cool kind of rainbow green design here on the XD75 Re ortholinear keyboard, it looks and sounds pretty nice. Next up is a keyboard from Project Keyblock. This is actually from the YouTube channel where they do a lot of sound tests. What I liked about this one was the really just simple look with like the muted gray keycaps with also some splash of colors there and some of the functions uh, just to give it, you know, a nice little pop of color. Even though it's also kind of muted, it plays into that whole aesthetic. So the board here is the Doro 67, again with the integrated plate, and these keycaps are XDA oblique. Now in terms of switches, we yet again have some cherry retooled black switches, lube with Geek Hacker's Crytox Thin Lube, and a spring swap with a Sprit 62 gram, which were lubed with Crytox 105. Stabilizers are cherry PCB mount, they are also clipped and lubed with Crytox 205 grade 0, and the cable you'll see is from Summit Cable. So we'll just do a sound test now again of the cherry retooled blacks. So a very smooth, nice sounding linear switch there, very satisfying. Um, that's probably how the first one was supposed to sound, minus some of the background noise going on. But a really nice board from Project Keyb look. And you're probably asking, well what's with you know the Cherry Retool Black switches? Well, they're not really popular, and they give you that desired sound once you start to modify them a bit. Uh, so you can't really get them, you know, readily available. And if you find them, they're probably at a pretty expensive price. They're kind of like, you know, a novelty in the keyboard community to be able to get these older switches and then kind of revive them for a modern sound like that. Next up from Jim N, we have a really nice and clean keyboard here. This is the Sirius board, and inside is a PVD brass weight to help, you know, weigh it down a bit, also help with acoustics as well. And the plate itself is made from palm. So palm is a really interesting material. We're actually seeing um, a few more, not really manufacturers, but people who are, you know, getting into the custom keyboard community make their keyboards out of a palm material. And if you're curious what POM is, it's pretty much like a different blend of plastic that is made um, a lot for like engineering and stuff. 
They're usually used for very precise parts that you know require um, some rigidity, stiffness, but also low friction. So you're getting a really unique blend of plastic for this keyboard. And the all white finish here just looks really stellar. So for the keycaps on this one, it's the Cat Alpha PBT, which is a black on white. And as you can see, it's just gonna fit in perfectly when it comes to aesthetics. And those key switches there are from Novel Keys. They are cream switches. The springs inside are lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero. But the actual stem and the housing of the switch is not lube, so just the springs here. But now we'll do a sound test of these linear Novel Keys cream switches. So a very nice board from Jim here, again with the palm material, also a nice cream switch inside. So for all you linear lovers out there, this one probably hit home. And that, uh, that space bar was sounding particularly satisfying. Hey, and guess what? We have another palm keyboard from JJ Soviet. And this is actually the Palm Alice case. And the plate is by Switch Couture with the Alice PCB inside. So this, you know, form factor here, very, very ergonomic for typing. For those familiar with the TGR Alice, it's pretty much like the holy grail of keyboards. Here, a custom made project. So checking it out, we have a matching cable here in all white from Summit Cables. It's their LE Noir White Aviator. And the keycap set here is TKC Cherry Katakana BOW, which stands for black on white. For stabilizers, they are GMK. They are lube with Crytox 205 grade zero. And the switches are Zeal PC Xilence V2 with a 67 gram spring. He didn't provide any info on whether the switches themselves were lubed, so I'm gonna err on the side of no. But either way, these are very popular switches, and we'll do a sound test now. So as you heard from the Xilence, a nice tactile switch there, and altogether a really cool palm rendition of the TGR Alice keyboard. In the end, giving us a really nice and clean white looking board. And then lastly, we have SinCycle here with a really nice keyboard, the Duck Orion V3. And the plate inside is an FR4 with Snow Pro PCB, which is not the original PCB that comes with the Duck Orion. The Snow Pro version has brighter RGB, he noted. As you can see around the board on the back side and on the front, you have an RGB bar, which is where that brighter PCB is gonna come into play, as well as some of the backlighting and stuff. Although it is possible that the case itself does have integrated RGB, I'm not too familiar with it, so I can't 100% say. But either way, moving into the keycaps here, fitting in with kind of like a black and orange sort of theme. These are GMK Skidata. But what I think is really interesting for the function row up top, he has the like re-legendables on them. So that lets you, it's pretty much like this clear cap that you put on top of the keycap so you can like cut out different logos for like functions or macros to kind of reuse the key. But it still looks really cool. Now as for the switches, these are Mashdrop's version of the Holy Panda. And these are washed and lubed with Crytox 205 grade zero and a mix of 105. And then the spring is mixed with Crytox 104 and 105. But we'll do a sound test now, the mass drop holy pandas. So that sound test definitely makes me want to pick up my own pack because that sound 
very, very awesome. But all together for the final result of this keyboard, the Duck Orion V3, I think it looks really nice. You know, the all black, the mix of the RGB, like, light strip in there, black and orange color theme. Pretty unique build altogether, I'd say. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode four of Switch It Up. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description down below for some of the you know, information on the keyboards in case you're interested. You want to do some Google searches to find out if it's available, all that kind of stuff. Everything we listed for you in the description down below. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.